again, it's Callum from Termos Chester and today I've got something new in my bowl, something actually new which is quite rare for pipe tobacco to see a brand new blend so it's always quite exciting. Now apologies in advance if I butcher the name of this because it's one I've only ever seen written down but this is Kohlhaeser, or Kohlhaes, uh, number 66 limited edition. Uh, I believe it's Kohlhaeser. Um, a part of a group, Kohlhaeser and Kopp, or K and K, as they're more commonly known, and they are a manufacturer of pipe tobaccos, and they tend to just sit in the background and don't often release stuff under their own name. But every now and again, they do as a limited edition, and it's generally pretty good. So what we have with the number sixty-six is a double fermented black Cavendish base with a mix of Golden Virginias and Broken Flake. I bought the whole tin with me to show you. It's a, it's a 100 gram tin with a little bag inside and it comes in this lovely little, quite plain tin. Just nice simple pipe design on it. So once you've used it up, it is reusable. It does have to come with the health warning, what with it being in the UK and everything, but between you and me, it is just a sticker so we can peel off for reusing. But you didn't click on this video to listen to me talk about tin, did you? So, here's the tobacco itself. It's got quite a high moisture content. Uh, the Black Cavendish. Uh, mostly dominates the blend. There is a lot of black in there, but you've got some nice intermingled light and dark brown in there as well. As I said, it's got a fairly high moisture content from the casing, which is a very distinctive creme de cassis flavour. So, like a creamy blackcurrant liqueur taste. Uh, it's described as a Danish style aromatic, so sitting on the Scandinavian side, although personally, I think this is a little closer to an American style blend. Um, it's still very, very Scandinavian, but the strength of the casing is a little bit more than you'd usually get. And the taste of the tobacco is a little bit milder. So that's kind of the dominant taste is the creme de cassis. Fortunately, it's a very nice casing. <clears throat> so the fact it's kind of the majority of the blend is not an issue for me. As you probably know, I've got a real sweet tooth when it comes to pipe tobacco, uh, so you do get a nice amount of black curry sweetness, balanced out by the creaminess underneath it, and the tobacco just subtly sits at the bottom. You might get a little taste of it, but it's mostly there for you to just enjoy the creme de cassis taste. Considering the higher moisture content, I found it burns very easily. Um, I've had to relight this bowl maybe once, but I've been faffing about and setting things up, so probably not a completely fair reflection, but it does light very easily straight out the tin as well. So generally all around, very easy to use, very approachable sweet tobacco. And creme de cassis is a flavour, in fact blackcurrant is a flavour that you don't see used very often in tobacco. So. As you know, I always like it when uh, blenders go for a slightly different choice of uh, flavouring rather than the usual one. So, definitely gets my recommendation. If you want to try it, it's available as always at turbos.com. If you do try it, hope you like it. Don't forget to let us know what you think. And as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in future. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.